Good morning guys. We have us a um well we're doing an install. <clears throat> so I'm gonna try to get some video of that. And um we also have a at least right now just to turn on the gas and light the pilot. Just go over there and make sure it's safe, get the utility company to come over and unlock the gas and uh so I'm gonna try to get some footage of that and um this install for you. And hopefully I can get a finished product for you to see. Here we go. All right, looks like I showed up a little bit late. They uh, already have the ductwork all hooked up. Are y'all brazed in? Nope. Got to braze in and hook up the electrical. Let's see what it looks like outside. All right, let's see what's going on out here. I believe this house was unoccupied for a long time. Oh, we got nothing. That's okay. I'm here very early. We're installing a two-stage heat pump. It's uh, still like a 14 sear two, but compressor has two stages. It's basically got a solenoid on the side of it. Part of, I mean, to bring on the second stage and I'll walk out here and show you what we got all right I showed y'all the air handler they hadn't done a whole lot outside yet but right here we have um this is the condenser we're installing of course we call it a heat pump because it, pro it produces heat and cool and it's got a two-stage compressor so um I'll bring y'all back when we're done okay we are here at this house to check the um the heat make sure it's safe and um get it fired up i have no idea what we're gonna find right now i'm not seeing a flue pipe so let's see what's going on knock knock yeah, no. hey let's hey, see what man. kind of heat you got uh they say it's a water engine let's see what you got oh okay and then, like, it gotta be big from the, um... looks like this is brand new <laughs> oh, you got a little puppy in there or something? Yeah, my baby. Okay. <laughs> that little pussy. All right, let's um. Yeah, this looks brand new. All right, I'm gonna check outside real quick. Okay, what's going on here is. The furnace has been replaced in Georgia. It, it is not code for um, unvented gas heat to be the primary source of heat. So I can't install a furnace like that. But if I find one installs like that, I can service it and work on it. I just can't install them. This is one of those interlocking gas valves. As you see, when the pins are like this, the valve is off. The pins have to be turned this way for the valve to be on. So let's get it turned on and uh, see if we have any leaks. Uh, when these landlords put me in this predicament, um, I don't know. I just don't like it very much. All right, let's call the utility company. Okay, now we have it turned on. And as y'all see, those little pins are going up and down. They're on the top and bottom. Ow! And this has turned, so it's facing up and down. Right now, I'm bleeding the gas lines because there's air in the gas lines. Until I can smell it. Oh, 
Okay, I'm outside. And as you'll see, I'm reading four on this one and nothing here. Yeah. Zero. Let's go inside. No, I got to eat leave. Ain't nothing doing these yards. Too, too far over. Yeah. Let me check in here real quick. Yeah, it's getting hot, isn't it? It's hard to stand close to it. <laughs> Whew. I'm gonna turn this off. Oh, it's got its own little, you can set it like right now, you see how it's set on like one and a half, two? Mm -hmm. And it'll cut off itself. It'll cut on and off itself. If you turn it up, it's gonna get hotter in here. But here's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. All right. If your pilot, right now, that's just about as low as it'll go, mm -hmm. you can turn it where it ain't gonna run at all. Okay. But the pilot's gonna run. Okay. If that pilot goes out, you turn it to where this right here, mm -hmm. it says pilot, mm -hmm. you push down, and this is your striker. Okay, you hear it? To that, to that little, okay, okay. And then you hold it for just a second, because okay. that little thermal couple's gotta get hot. Okay. And then you can turn it on. All right. All right. So, so right now, if I want to just, ah, just turn it on pilot. Yeah, just turn it over here, and it won't, and it won't run. Thank you. All right. Okay. This is the final product on the air handler. <laughs> it looks like the plenum's matched up just right. That looks good. They did the drain the same way. Well, hold on just a second. There is no P trap outside. <laughs> I'm gonna have to straighten that out or put a P trap outside. And this is what we got out here. <clears throat> Let me do something about that P trap because it don't have one. All right, now we're ready. That looks much better. Guys, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I know that other contractors are often put in that same position with those heaters or they're asked to install something that isn't up to code. I basically told them I'm not going to install one of those. So that's what they started doing. And um, technically, um, if I find it that way, there's not a real... There's not a whole lot I can do except just refuse to service one. And some of these people are really good customers. So um, I insist on having a carbon monoxide detector in the house. If not one, maybe two. And um, I'll turn them on, but um, I'm not going to go buy one and put one in for them. I'm not going to do that. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one.